Hi everyone, this is Priscilla. I just came back from a little road trip like two weeks later and my fiance's son was watering the plants and I just wanted to show you an update of my plants and it's so pretty cool. This is the asparagus and this is the watermelon. When I left, they were babies. So you can go back and see them. This one was a little plant and it didn't have any flowers. This is my corn. And if we go back here, my fern, my ferns, they're still very healthy. And then coming back here, these were the cuttings I took, the petunia cuttings. Some of them didn't make it, like that one, kind of that one, but some of them did, which I'm still going to leave them in here. These grew up really big, the other petunias, um, the calendula died, but so I'm just going to take it out. And um, some of these, they're just leaves, but this is, right here is marigold, as well as this. This never came out, so I'm going to take it out. That's a weed. Um, my yarrow never came out, but it looks like something's growing in there. These plants got bigger, and so they're really bushy and really healthy looking. And so I got to clip a lot of these plants. Like they're coming out. That one I think I'm just going to throw out. Here's my lavender plant. This one, it grew bigger. It was... It didn't have this flower. It was just a little vine. And this is the passion fruit that I grew back in April. And these, when I left, I I believe I clipped them all. And now they grew like this. It's really pretty. Um, this one, I actually didn't water. So it grew up really good. And then... So I just have to do a lot of maintenance on them. These are my plants, my um, dahlias. They're getting bulbs. My vine just needs some attention. Here's a ladybug. I love them. They're so cute. And then these are the the bee flower, the, the bee bush. See, it grows that little purple flower. If you guys can see it. It's really pretty though. And then some of them look like they just need water help. This is my avocado tree. And this is my peas. They, they were not this big at all. So, wow, that's pretty cool. They're all, they're all taller than me. When I left, none of them were taller than me. But I have to go in there and fix that mold problem. These are the carrots. They were not this big. Unfortunately, some of my plants did die, but that's okay. Um, this is my fiance section. There's my trellis section, my jungle, tropical area. Um, that's my fiance's plant, but it actually did get taller. This one survived. Uh, there's, I found a bug in there that ate a lot of the leaves, so I got to take care of that. And this plant right here was red. If you go back in the videos, you will see all of them are red. I can't believe it's this green now. So that's pretty cool. And um, there's obviously been a bug in there because I think that's bug poop. I'm not too sure. But all of these are alive and doing well. Um, I think this one died, so I've got to fix that, and I still need to cut out the flower. This one, unfortunately, did die. If you go back, I have two videos about it. It was um, a Venus flytrap, but it was the pitcher kind. It died, so I'll just get another one. The aloe's doing good still, and these are my... Um, Oh, well, look at it. There was a butterfly there. That was, that's its um, cocoon skin. 
And so, um, this area I still need to work on. And then this is my one of my fancy's um, strawberry plants. You can see how big, look at, they got. And then this is just the side of some of our plants. That's my tomato plant and my pepper plant. These are my flowers. This one grew up really big and tall. It didn't have any flowers at all whatsoever by the time I left. All the cocoons, they bloomed. And that grew back. And um, that that was that's the mother plant. It's all eaten up. Um, my fiance son said that there was four caterpillars on it. And the next day it was just gone. So this was my calendula and I told you on one of my videos that when I come back and if it's just like this and no flowers, I'm just going to pull it out. So I'm going to pull it out. This was a sunflower. Got this big. Still hasn't bloomed. But I'm just going to keep letting it grow. There was a bug eating it. So I got to do a lot of maintenance on that. And inside here is my little mini garden, vegetable garden. And these are the tomatoes. And I can't believe they got that big. So, wow. And that's the sunflower flopping over because the head is too big. And these are my marigolds. And this is my, um, my peas. But I don't know why it's very, very small. And then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then um, that there is my basil that's now flowering. I got to cut those off. That's my calendula. Some more marigold. More basil. That's my um, mint. And this here is my strawberry plant. And back over here. Um, my turtle's in there sleeping. And this right here is Astra. It lived. So that, that blueberry bush. And these here are my sunflowers. And some of them are taller than the others because my rabbits ate them. Some of them have no flowers in there because my rabbits ate them. And this is my purple basil. I don't know why it's looking so weird. It was it never looked like that. But John, if you ever see this video, thank you so much for taking care of my plants. I appreciate it so much. And those are my blueberry bushes. And my strawberry. It never wanted a flower. I, I don't know why, because I kept cutting the flowers, and I guess that that upset it in some way, but I'm just going to keep letting it grow because it's still green. This is the bushiest it has ever been. If you look back at my other videos, you will see that. These live. They're petunias. I need to, of course, clean them up. And then... This is my fiance's um, tree, orange tree. So we didn't have those. We either had flowers or they were little, little, little baby, little baby um, oranges. But that's pretty cool. And then back over here is my Hobby Lobby garden. So that one didn't do too good. That's okay. This is the parsley grew very big. All of this stuff right here you see, it's called Baby Tears. It grew. This is Mondo grass. I had patches of it everywhere, but it, that's the only patch left. That died. If you go back, you could see it had pink flowers in it. This is my lacy plant. Not doing too good. As well as that one. This is my um, forget-me-not flower. 
So it's still doing pretty good. That is my um plant. My uh, I believe it's called Clivia plant. And so everything is pretty good. And I can't wait to work on all of this stuff tomorrow. And hopefully plant these. And so I'm happy with everything. And if I go back to my front yard again, this is one of my sides of the yard. And back house, I'm sorry. I'll go over here and look at this lemon plant. This is my Meyer lemon plant. It has one baby right there, and then these are the blooms of it. And that's the flower. I don't know if that's going to grow out. There's another one. This is a lavender. This is a palm tree. I think that's some sort of weed. But I'm happy with everything. Shout out to Miss Sherry Pill Jackson. To my daughter, Ava. I love you so much. And I can't wait to see you again. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Bye.